Hey guys, I got a question that was asked in one of the previous videos that I did and I thought I may as well place this on the whiteboard and quickly go through this and make up the video so that we can understand the differences here between one brushless motor and another. So I'm gonna go through this and show you exactly how this compares. Now a couple key points is that we are not doing this for a consistent and similar motor. Both of these brushless motors are wildly different and that is key, so we are going to expect different results because it's not of the same can size. The one brushless motor is going to be a Hobbywing 4082 1650 kV. We'll understand more about what those numbers mean as we go throughout this process. The other brushless motor is the TP Power. It's a 4070 1520 kV. So just off the hop it looks like these numbers look bigger than these numbers so we'd expect that this brushless motor might might be better, but that's not exactly how this works out. So now let's go through and talk about specifications. We're gonna get into them, we're gonna go and make a calculation and understand exactly which motor has the greater potential to deliver more torque. Let's jump right into it and go through these numbers. First numbers that we have here is going through a calculation to determine the KT value. KT, as we learned from previous videos, is our torque constant, that's where we see that capital K, and and the T represents torque and we're gonna go through and we take our KV and we do one divided by the KV in order to get that value. Now KV is measured in RPM. When we do calculations, RPM does not work for us. So what we have to do is actually convert that value to rads per second. I don't go through that here, but if you go through the numbers and then you actually multiply it by a thousand so that we can get millinewton meters, this works out to 5.787 millinewton meters per amp. We're gonna go and flip between millinewton meters and newton meters as we move through this. KT is going to be one divided by 1520 for our TP power, and this is where we get 6.28 two millinewton meters per amp for our TP power brushless motor. Now we go to the spec sheets and I found on the Hobbywing 4082, something similar was found on a different brushless motor because I couldn't find exact specs there. In terms of max current for this brushless motor, the maximum current is going to be 140 amps on that particular motor. And when we look at the TP power brushless motor, the max current that's listed as the spec there is going to be 230 on this particular brushless motor. So we got a drastic difference here when we look at the current between both of these brushless motors. Now we break it into that maximum torque value and the maximum torque that we get out of the one brushless motor is going to be 5.787 millinewton meters per amp multiplied by amps and we get a total amount of torque here as 0 0.8102 and the unit of measure here is newton meters. And then we go and take a look at our other motor here. Now jumping to the TP power, we get maximum torque equal to 6.282 multiplied by 230, and we get 1.445 newton meters. Here we can already see that this motor produces more torque than our Hobbywing brushless motor. Let's look into the difference there and what that looks like. The clear winner is going to be our TP Power brushless motor. It delivers 78% more torque. That is quite incredible indeed. And we do this because we have a better KV. This KV is lower, so it provides a better KT value, meaning it delivers more torque per amp. All we need is the equal amount of amps between both these brushless motors and this motor already would win. When we look at the actual size of the motor, this is where we can really see what's going on here. Our Hobbywing 4082 actually stands for the size in millimeters of that brushless motor. This is a 40 millimeter diameter can with an 82 millimeter long can. And when we look at our TP brushless motor, this is not the can size. It has got a 39.6 millimeter diameter can and the length of this brushless motor is 107.6. When we look at brushless motors, size really tells how much power these things can put out and a larger motor can naturally deliver more amounts of power which is also more amounts of torque as well. And this is the major difference when we look at what's going on behind all of these numbers. Well guys, I hope this gave you some insight as a comparison that 
one person asked me about. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.